Did she or didn't she? The transfer or non-transfer of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo from St. Luke's Hospital to Veterans Memorial Medical Center keep everyone guessing all day. No one knows for certain when Arroyo leaves, and the decoys don't help. A van departs the hospital at 9.50 in the morning, but Arroyo is not in the convoy. An hour later, on the 16th floor, a security guard clears the wing where Arroyo's room is and shuts the doors leading to the elevators, only for the camp to stall her departure yet again. Even Raul Lambino, one of Arroyo's lawyers, is frustrated. Uh, Veterans Memorial uh, Medical Center, isang linggo na yung nakakaraan, magmula nung naglabas ng kautosan ng West ng uh, uh, RTC Pasa. Earlier, Move.ph cameras spot a chopper on the roof. But the mode of transportation is a constant debate throughout the day, an argument that stalls the former president's departure. While waiting, the Arroyo camp allows AP photographer Bullet Marquez to take photos of her to share with media. He says Arroyo seems unbothered by the frenzy. Oh well, she was smiling when I photographed her. So maybe maybe we this position. Finally, at about 3.30 p.m., another convoy leaves the Medical Arts Building and passes EDSA towards veterans. The congresswoman is inside. She arrives at her new hospital safely, where she brings the chaos with her while her old hospital is quiet and still at her departure. The day Arroyo is transferred to a government hospital is much like her presidency. Chaotic, controversial, and riddled with accusations. Did she or didn't she? Natasha Gutierrez reporting from Taguig.